important thing is, is that he uh, shot at police officers. Michigan Supreme Court Justice Richard Bernstein originally did not want this man, Peter Martell, to be a law clerk for this justice, Kyra Harris Bolden. But on Monday, Justice Bernstein changed his mind. How would law enforcement feel? How would the prosecution feel if they know that one of the key members, again, that's involved in the determination of their case, shot at them? Peter Martell did 14 years in prison, convicted of armed robbery. There were also allegations he shot at police officers. However, in 2008, he got out of prison, then went to law school, now teaches at the University of Michigan, and was appointed as a law clerk to Justice Bolden. When people commit crimes 30 years ago and, and really transform their life into trying to work in the legal system and help people, I think that that's something special. But on Monday, Justice Bernstein issued the following statement. I apologize to my colleague, Justice Kyra Harris Bolden, in person at the Hall of Justice, and she has accepted my apology. I regret overstepping Justice Bolden's hiring process and should not have disturbed her ability to lead her chambers. Now, Justice Bernstein also apologized to Peter Martell. I wish that he's able to do something great and do the things that his life experience is going to allow for him to do. Unfortunately, Martel resigned his law clerk position before the apology, and we're not sure if this apology will change things. The justice system worked how it was intended, serving time for his crime and transforming his life. In Southfield, Charlie Langton, Fox 2 News.